here we have a sample flutter project open uh, i'll get i'll clean it up a bit and we'll get started mm, that's it i have cleaned it up uh, in today's video what we are going to do is we'll just get the uh, json data from the through the api we'll look at what kind of api we'll be using and everything but uh, before we start uh, we'll add the uh, the necessary dependencies in the pubsec file and for this we'll be using uh, a package which, called, which is called as http package uh, uh, okay just uh, get the latest version and add it to your pubsec file save it and flutter will run the pubkit command automatically uh, now we will look into the api that we are going to use as you can see here uh, i have already opened the alpha vantage page uh, in this uh, they have given a lot of apis for uh, lots of data what we will be using is the monthly adjusted data and the monthly adjusted mm, yeah this one and if you click they have given a sample uh, output if you click it you can see get a sample data okay so this is the sample data which we have to get and so first thing is we'll import the package uh, Well, I'll get it as a HTTP. Okay. And I'll create a function which will get a request. Void uh, get Okay. Oops, sorry. HTTP request okay so first uh, for getting the HTTP request we first need a URL so one uh, URL will be our sample data URL which is you can see that there are a few parts of our URL that is this one the function is at time series monthly adjusted which is going to be a constant we are not going to change this however the next one the symbol uh, depends on different companies and also the API key the API key you can get it for free but for our case it uh, I will uh, simply now uh, I will be keeping it as demo itself uh, so string API key. Well, you'll need a original API, uh, free original API key if you were to uh, request any other companies. Uh, for now, we can just uh, request for the sample company that is IBM uh, and a few others. I 
just use it here and the symbol name is also going to be a variable that is the IPM part so I'll get that also it's a variable so the symbol and we'll uh, get it uh, when the page loads so uh, to write state and when the page loads we'll call this we'll be calling this function so We'll just change the symbol name. Okay. Uh, now we'll send the actual request to get our data. So our response. And sorry, well, this HTTP comes from here, the name which I had given to the import. So, HTTP dot get and URL. Here you'll see an error because of this await. You can just fix it. Okay. okay, now we should be able to get the request just to make sure. And I'll set a breakpoint here just to see how the how the response looks like. Okay, now I'll just restart the app so that the breakpoint gets hit. Okay. We have placed an await here because the get request could take time and it will return the result only after some time. So we are placing an await here. And as you can see, we have hit the breakpoint. And let's see what our response is. Well, we have got a OK response, status code 200 and the body well yeah, the body contains the information that we need but there is a problem that is it is not it is in a string format and passing it could be really really difficult and for that what we have to do is we'll create a model and uh, use a model to when we'll convert the JSON into that model. Okay. Okay, I'll just remove the breakpoint. And to create the model easily, uh, we'll use the service which is called as app.quicktype.io. Okay. So this is how it works. We just paste in our JSON file here and it will generate our model here. Now uh, just make sure you type in the right language that is dark.
I usually give it from map to map, doesn't matter though. And we have a sample shape on it here. Don't see. Okay, just change the class name to something like uh, monthly adjuster. And here, our model has been generated. Just copy paste it. A, control C, and here we'll create a new file that is a Just paste our code. Okay. For uh, for plotting the graph, I'll be using the uh, phi adjusted close value. So just make a note of it. And okay, so we'll go back and convert the JSON into an object. And for that, the first thing you'll have to do is import the model okay. okay once that is done we just have to convert the response into a model for that Okay. To create the model, uh, this is the function which we'll have to call, and uh, we'll get a monthly model. Uh, sorry, as a monthly adjusted model. Okay, so just copy it. And, okay, we can just pass it to here from map. Okay, we probably have it here too. Actually. Um, yeah, this one this function will return our map for okay um, to this we'll be passing our response body response dot body and we will create a, a, a model to store it and doesn't matter dot data Just wait for the breakpoint to hit again. And okay. Okay. So now you can take a look at the stock data um, okay you can just take a look at the stock data and you can see that all the values have been mapped okay so this is one we'll be using to 
plot plot the graph and we will just make one more quick check that is we will ensure that uh, we create the model only if we get a positive uh, response code that is data score 200 okay So in our next video, we'll take a look at uh, how to plot the uh, plot the values from the stock data. Thank you.